I'm going to be taking a look at Dragon's Dogma 2 on my 4080 Super. I'm going to be doing it out of 4K, so we've got that resolution set here. Upscaling, we've got off at first, but I will check that out a little bit later with it on as well. Rendering mode got set to progressive, purely just because I think it looks a lot better. Uh, ray tracing's on. And then the graphic settings, we've got maxed out. So these are all the highest that they can go. I think high is the max on those. That one's max. So uh, let's have a look at that. It's going to be interesting to see how the game performs on this GPU. I've only seen it on the 4090. I have unlocked the city bit now, so I'm just going to check that out a little bit in there. Just about holding round about 6. The average of 56 at the moment dipping down. I've heard bad things about this city area. Here we go. Dips down into the 40s already. Should notice the GPU usage as well. 90%. That's coming down lows. Did see it a little bit in the smaller town. That's a bit closer to the beginning of the game. So I was kind of expecting this here. Actually not. I don't know if there's a particular area that's really bad. 45, I mean, it's not ideal. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, though. I thought we'd see GPU usage come down to maybe 80%. GPU power sitting at 270 watts, so it's not bad on that front. VRAM as well, 13 and a, just over 13 and a half. What are the controls on this? I actually forgot. Here we go, here we go. Look, my guy's out of stamina. Come back. That good. Get the big one. I got absolutely wrecked. Now, I think it's actually going... Are we going into the night here? Because that's when my FPS just disappears. Oh, my God. How do I block? Defend, RB. I'm just switching the rendering mode to interlaced to have a look at that. So yeah, with it set to interlaced here, almost touching 60 FPS again. So looking at like a 10 to 20 FPS boost between interlaced and progressive. But progressive definitely looks better graphics wise. I'd always try and play play on that if I can. Ambush. Gandalf, no. Get the Balrog. Oh. Well, that didn't go very well for them, did it? Let's keep heading towards this objective. Hitting up to actually almost 70 here, so... With obviously in progressive rendering mode, that would look more like 50. 50, 55. There's more goblins here. Get him. Not quite sure how to deal with the shield, guys. Oh. Jumping swipe. Look. That's pretty good. Is he dead? We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. Now, I think... Didn't I... I might have come this way before, the other way. Oh! Oh my god, look at this thing. What is that, a lizard? Oh my god. Get him! How do I heal? I can't remember. One of us has been drenched. Get him! Annabelle, no! Oh, turn, let my magic into your weapon with the 
This ain't going well. Gandalf, do something. Oh, no. I'm dead. Gandalf. Legolas, do something. This does not sound good at all. I've got DLSS upscaling on now, so you can see here, I've got it set to quality. With a bit of luck, we should hopefully get some... A little bit better frames by switching DLSS on. Looks like we've got about 80 at the moment, so that's about... Sadly, yeah, about a 20 to 30 FPS increase from native 4K. So that's about average as what you'd expect with DLSS quality. See how it fluctuates after playing for a little bit. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our face. Block, block, block. Ooh. I'm going to go this route instead of the other route purely because... When I went the other route, I came up against enemies that just seemed a lot better. And I kept dying. Have I got a kill? What have we got to kill here? So it seems to be mostly holding that 80 FPS. Even in combat, it does drop a little bit. Down to maybe 70, 75 some on some bits you're seeing here. Oh no, not these things again. This is what killed me last time. Have I got any ranged attacks? Nice, 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 nice. Finish him. Nice, nice, nice. Get the other one. These things just wreck. Just slash. Keep slashing. Button mash. I'm not quite sure how I heal either. What's this here? Make camp? What's in here? So, quite a big stutter there. Look at the frame time. Big stutter when I sort of moved the camera quite quick. So, definitely a lot better with DLSS on, for sure. Notice the image quality isn't quite as good as native of it as you'd expect. It's not terrible. But I think if you're sitting close to your monitor, you could probably... At least I can tell ever so slightly the difference. Things look a little bit more blurry. Don't know if this is the right way. Still a pretty nice looking game landscape wise. I think the scenery looks really nice. Look. At is that up there? Is that friendly or enemy? I'm hoping it's friendly because. Oh god. If that's an enemy, this could end very badly. Run, run, run. Oh god, it's enemy. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's no way. I wonder if you could grab that thing. Nah, I'm running, I'm running. Gandalf, run! It's Balrog level. Oh god, this is about to all go terribly wrong. They don't look like they're running. Gandalf's running. Thing is, is I was just running into more enemies. Jump, jump. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh no! Look how low my health is. I'm going to take a look with ray tracing off so you can see I've got it switched off here. 
rest of the graphics is still maxed out. Now, we should hopefully see a little bit better frames with ray tracing. Oh, it's not a massive difference, though, is it? I know I've still got it on the progressive rendering mode at the moment, so we will check out interlaced in a little bit. Still probably seeing... I think in this game, overall, you get maybe a 10 to 20 FPS improvement on average. So it's not a massive hit having ray tracing on. You know, some games all, all hit you like 40 FPS. It's not quite as bad as that. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Shimmying. Just all go for it. Go for it. Oh, my God. Whew. Gandalf, heal me. These things are so hard to kill. It's, it's chopped his tail off. Nice. Definitely seeing it dip down to... Closer to the 50s there, though, in that combat. Especially with that magic. The, the way the lighting looks. It looks really nice, but it does drop your FPS. So, out of combat here, hitting 60 to 70. And then in combat, hitting like 50. No harm in so, it still you. can't quite keep that 60 FPS consistently. Getting attacked by other humans or something. Excellent. I could have done no better. How do I just like target in on people so I don't There's something big up there I just saw. Is that a troll? I do not like the look of that. Level 9. Have I got any skills and stuff? Equipment. We should probably get some better armor and stuff. That's probably what I should be doing, really, isn't it? Stats. That was probably a, a better idea back in the uh, city to maybe get some better armor and stuff. Kind of uh, skip that. I hear some... What do I hear right now? I don't like the sound of it. Sounds like a troll. Oh my god. I don't like it. Do you think I could just run past it? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Just run. Don't look at it in the eye. I think I've actually somehow successfully ran it. Save the woman! Nice. So, mostly seeing an average of 66 FPS there. I am going to take a look with interlace now, so we should hopefully see it a bit better. So, if I put that there, save changes. Yeah, so it's, it gives you, I think roughly from what I've seen on this GPU and the 4090, it's about a 20 FPS improvement going from progressive to interlaced. Like I said before, interlace doesn't quite look as good, but... That's obviously, you know, that's a 20 FPS hit. So if you want the game to look better at progressive, you're going to have to take the 20 FPS hit. I'll turn you into a pin cushion. He's fallen down. Oh no, can I get back up? I think it's somewhat doable on 4K progressive rendering on this. There's a troll down there. Um, it does obviously dip quite under to like 40, 45, but I saw that even on my 4090, so... I think you're going to get that anyway. 
Only way around that really is to go DLSS quality, but even then in the towns and cities, you see the GPU usage just drop down loads. And that's really a game problem. There's not a ton we can do about that. Alright, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this fight. How do I get out of this up here? Get back on the road. That was hard won. Let us pick ourselves up. Dust ourselves. The creature's corpse will serve. Gonna take a look with it at progressive rendering with ray tracing off and then the graphics settings set to high instead of max. Kind of just interested to see what the balance between performance and graphics uh, quality will be. If we can hold 60 FPS here with it high, I think that would kind of be pretty good in progressive rendering. I think that overall looks pretty good and seems to play pretty good. Still getting the stutters in the frame time. Got a dip below 60 there briefly to 59. Definitely holds up a lot better than Max, though. Dare I say it? And the game overall still looks pretty good. Can we just make a camp here, then? How's that work? Make camp. Oh. Can't do it without a camping kit. These things, though, just ruin me. How kind of you. Take this with my... I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location. These things are just so hard to kill. Go for its tail. Hey, if you go for its tail. It makes them really slow. Is that the strategy? You know what? I think that might be the strategy there. Because we just destroyed them. If you've enjoyed this video, click one of the videos on the screen now to see me testing more GPUs, and I'll catch you next time.